WB and we're Long Island's only classic rock. Roger, oh, JP, comedians, Rich Voss, Robert Kelly in the studio with us. Always fun having you guys, well, individually, but together. Yeah. Very special. Yeah, it's a blast for us, too. We yeah, love being together. <laughs> I know. I couldn't think of anybody more fun to be with. <laughs> it's, you're not fun. I'm fun. I'm fun. You're, you're the actual opposite of fun. Oh, you please. I'm, you're none. You're listen to me. <laughs> I I don't have I had the fun I have with you is because I drag the fun out of you. I, I'd love to just drag you. <laughs> listen, I ca I call him this morning. I get here early. He's gonna rent the hotel. Yeah, because I, I live forever from here. I live first of all forever is not a way. You live <laughs> forever like from here. It's like talking to my six year old, Daddy. I live forever from here. <laughs> <laughs> I love you for lots. Yeah. <laughs> the word six year old and my shouldn't go together. But go ahead. <laughs> 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 what were you saying? <laughs> I, I, call, I call him this morning. I get here early because I'm an adult. I wake up early. Right. I get here early. I'll just go get coffee or a diner. And I know I'll probably be You'll an hour. You'll get a diner? I'll get, go to a diner. Sorry. Okay. Well, I was going to buy a diner too, but go ahead. I, I can't. Can I finish, please? Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for I'm sorry. You guys are going to do a tour you. together? <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's a tour, but it's not a tour like where they're on the road months at a time and they're yeah. going to kill each other somewhere near Albuquerque. So do a couple it's of Friday, shows? No, it's Friday, Saturday. That's all we could do. That's, <laughs> it. That's it. That's all we could and do. It's we over? If we had to be on a bus together, if we had to tour together like all week. God, I know. It'd be horrible. We'd either make love or we'd kill each other. <laughs> would Florence and Benson much... be buffers? That, no, they... no, they could care less about us. <laughs> they, I don't even. No, they don't care about us. No, no. They're, they're, they're the Nobody cares guys. about anybody but themselves. To tell you <laughs> the, I do care about Bobby, Jim, and Ron. But I'm see, I'm a giver. Mm -hmm. I'm a giver, and they're all out for themselves. Bobby's doing a little work behind the scenes. Are, He's you, doing are you? Are you out of your mind? But what are you saying about getting up this morning? I was trying to say it, you, 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 you ADD lunatic. You just yap. I don't yap. I, I wanted you to finish your story. That's what I was saying. So, yes, I'm, I'm going to forget that story, okay? Okay, let's it, talk about touring. Let's talk about when we were going over the rider yesterday, and I just, all they say is coffee and water. And, I, and I'm talking to Deb. Me and Deb work out a lot oh, of stuff. Oh, your contract rider for your, uh, right. for your show. Deb room. is the tour manager, and she's, well, like, look, I know these guys are going to want more. We're paying for it. The theater... Mm -hmm. Takes it out. So let's just get what you want. Be happy. Yeah. So we call them and he's like, oh, you know, in Florence, he's like, oh, I don't care. Just coffee and water. Yeah. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I don't care. We're, just, pretty, we're doing comedy. I want to get out of there and have, well, I'll have coffee and then uh, and get water. That's a pretty good Florentine. <laughs> and, huh? and then he goes, we go to Voss. He goes, yeah, a deli platter. Or a deli platter. Turkey. Okay, cool. Turkey, then he goes. Wraps. Uh, I said wraps. Wraps. And then he goes, <laughs> and an onion. Yeah, I, so I want an onion. Well, we all stop wrap. short. Ooh, an onion, an onion for what? Raw for onion, the in your yeah, on your turkey wrap, and maybe peppers, onions, and oh, peppers. Right? No. Look at that. Nice. Peppers and no, it's not sausages. Okay, is that sausages, peppers, and onions. <laughs> like your sausage. Fingers. First of all, I have very thin fingers. My wife said that to me you fifteen years. Shut up! <laughs> Don't say it. She what? said it to me fifteen years ago, What'd and I've never. Say? I've tried to make them fatter by eating <laughs> for the last fifteen years, and it hasn't happened. Oh, Why yeah. are you so upset about the width of your fingers? Because yeah. all the fat went to my stomach and boobs, and none of it pushed down to these little thin whips I have. <laughs> I like your fingers. No, you don't like my fingers. I'd love to put a ring you, around them. Do you <laughs> your fingers in your neck? Do you think uh, your wife would appreciate you with fatter fingers? I just think she wants a little more manly of a hand. You know what I mean? Like somebody who can open peanut butter. <laughs> somebody, you know what I mean? You can open a jar so, for her. Yeah, if she if she dig it out of control, could put a nice 1950s choke hold around her neck. <laughs> what did you just say to me? <laughs> you could choke her wrist. So you responded to that immediately. I this hate is it. totally something in your head oh, that your hands so, are oh. not the right size for I, your body. I, I have two dead toenails I could care less about. <laughs> two dead? Oh, I have they, a dead toe. I you showed you my dead toe, right? What? Oh, you've never oh, seen it? Um, please don't do this. Do it. Do no, it. No, 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 we're starting the tour Friday. Please don't do this. Why do you have a dead toe? I'll never not think Rich, of this. You please gotta don't do this. this. you got to see this. Rich Voss and Bobby Kelly. If there's any Why other comics ever? out there that have 20 what? minutes. I can't get this toe open, honey. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, wow, you really can. What are you, an old Japanese woman? It's like they melted together. It's what happened? Wow. Get off me. Don't touch me with that. touching him with his toe. 
<laughs> Dude, you, you have toe jam. No, I can't oh. open it. Will you His roller little... skate when you were younger? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's His pinky toe is jammed in there with you... the next toe over. <laughs> it has Dude, no movement. Do you understand how bad? What? How did that happen? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> there's no, let me say something, guys. Uh, Kickball. There's, there's no way that happens without you knowing what caused it. Not mm. to cause it, just... My toes started one like the other one more. The, that, that's not that's just, not true. They can't. Your toe can't mush into its own foot. It must have been since you were a kid, no? I don't remember when it happened. I just noticed it one day. I go, Something happened. I can't the, move my toe. There's, no, no, there's no. no way that you do when that I went without to a knowing. Toe doctor. I mean, a foot doctor. Did you have to call a tow truck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey boy. now, <laughs> this is the quality of what's going to happen on Friday, October twenty fifth. You never saw my toe. October twenty fifth, the Paramount Theater. It's almost sold out. Get your tickets. It is almost yeah, sold out. I know. Hey. Today, I was like, wow, good for yeah. you guys. Ron Bennington, Jim Florentine, Rich Voss, who's myself. The, who's the brain of this whole operation? Oh, well, we, why did you just point to you? Oh, but the, it was, it was, that was kind of straight up. I thought he meant himself. No, no, no. This is an idea that I created uh, around three years ago at the Village Underground for a... Uh, for that type of venue, a 200 seater. But Voss Bennington is actually was the host of it. I always had him in mind to host it and his daughter. Hmm. And then we bring up four comedians that do 10 minutes each, and then we do a panel on parenting. Okay. Okay. And then uh, a tour opportunity came up with my agent, and he said, What do you want to do? And I, and I was like, This. And he says, Who with? And I said, These guys. Nice. So in hindsight, I would have picked somebody else. Are you getting paid more than everybody else? <laughs> no. You're the everything, everything, uh, everything's down the middle. You believe that, Rich? Uh, yeah, of course. First of all, Bobby's an honest person. Yeah, he's a loud mouth, but he's honest. Yep, it's true. And and you know, uh, yeah, you know, you can we, always insult we, me if you say something true <laughs> right after it. I'll agree and say that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. He's fat, nice guy. Okay, good. Sure. No, yeah. <laughs> there's no reason to say you're a nice guy. I'm not gonna. Uh, no, I, just, every I, can I just say honestly when my uh, when we did it I was like because I've been on tours right and the one thing that messes it up yeah. is the money because some guy's getting this and he's mm -hmm. getting that and it's and it was happened. like I I told my agent I go listen favorite nations down the middle anybody wants to see anything I don't care merch down the middle let's just keep it down the middle because everybody on the show is a headliner right there's nobody. I hate when you see a show of five headliners or four headliners, and there's one guy that getting all them. It's like, I get it, right. you know, and 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 whatever. But we're, it's like these guys were all headliners, were mm. all killers, and the show is. I just wanted to. I wanted like the best comedy show you could go to. Right. Like no weak spots. There's no first guy that's going to go up and do eh or someone's going to do we're all killers. So mm. that's the show that it is. We did one show test show. It sold out outside of Philly and it was great and we're going to actually do a, a thing on a, a panel on parenting at the end. Okay. We Which are. We, yeah, we're doing that at the end of the shows. Where uh, Ron's got, Rich is going to host the shows. Ron's going to host the pa parent uh, paneling so you'll be able to ask questions or send questions in, and he's going to ask stuff. It's going to be kind of improvised and free because we want to do something a little different than just stand-up, 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 good night, mm -hmm. buy but our t-shirt. you guys, all four of you, will do stand-up each, correct? We're oh, doing yeah. 20 minutes each. It's going to be a holy, it's going to be a full show, then That's around a half-hour panel on, on questions or whatever you want to ask us, and then... Of course, that'll be funny. And it doesn't That's have great. to be parenting. It can be anything, and then we're going out and we're selling a... We have a one-of-a-kind t-shirt that's only being sold on the tour. Uh -huh. hmm. It's really cool. It's like a New York Dolls type shirt with all our faces. It says Creeps for Kids. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Cool. Tour dates on the back. Old type screen right. tour. So I might uh, cut them down to 15 minutes a piece and do 35. I'll discuss it with them. I made a mistake. I, was just I, I don't know. <laughs> I just made a mistake. No, I'll he's never... Right. He's right about I, I should have just said Jessica Kershaw or, or, or Kirsten or, or Lynn or, Coplitz or something. Lynn doesn't have a kid. She has kids. She's killed them. I mean, you don't oh, have to have Jesus. one. You can be a creep with, with an older kid that isn't around. Right. No, see, when I went on tour, too, with Last Comic, we split the money right down the middle. Okay. You know, and it just, it's, you don't want to fight over dumb yeah, stuff. You hear you the know, music, I want wrap an it up. Onion. I want an onion. Oh, this is like the Oscars. <laughs> what do you mean like the Oscars? You're not, because they're telling you. The music is playing. Yeah. You have to have his headphones on. You have no idea. I, have I, have I hate off. you. <laughs> <laughs> More with Rich Foss and Bobby Kelly uh, coming up next. Here's, here's Tech. <laughs> tech.
Your BAB Browns Dodge Ram Truck Center in Medford, Long Island traffic eastbound on the LIE by exit 40 Jericho Turnpike. We had an accident there on the Northern Parkway westbound by Post Avenue at exit 32. We also had a crash. Westbound Southern State, lots of traffic. 102.3 WBAB, Long Island's only classic rock. Roger and JP, 754. Uh, some sun now, rain, wind, heavy later, and what did 66. I what did I tell you before we started? The yeah. cameras are going to be running. If there was stuff you don't want to talk about with the cameras running, just tell me we'll shut the cameras off. Yeah, well, too bad. I did it. And you know what? <laughs> you. So who, now. First of all, who no- And this just in. Nobody remember. fell off the tour. He's out. No, Florence is in the tour. <laughs> but it, it, it's just, so, you know. I got you. You can't. You can't. You can't have cameras running. <laughs> you just. I mean, what is this? You know, what you, I, I don't remember. My birthday was last week. I, I thought it was forty. Forty nine. I was. I thought it was forty eight. And you want me to remember cameras are running? And by Ron Conkham. Where are we? I don't even know where we're Ron Conkham. Wherever we are. You're in West Babylon. He's got two uh, Canon Nikon A five thousands running at full blast. You got a kid with on the spectrum just pushing buttons, and I'm supposed to remember. What the hell's going on? I got to deal with this onion beater, and I mean he's got a dead toe. I mean, it, it, you know, I mean you got everything running now. Okay. Uh, we'll shut it That's up. Robert Kelly right there. Hi, yeah. Rich. How you doing? We're talking about the dead toe. Better than him. <laughs> I don't Rich mind Foss. the cameras rolling because uh-huh. I like being on camera. Mm-hmm. I'm very camera friendly. Uh, so it doesn't bother me. And this uh, Jamok has the cameras not facing us in any possible way. So There's one does. right there, you the moron. One. I said this, that other one's practically one. in your ear. Oh, <laughs> is that running? That's there. Of course it is. <laughs> this is how you know he's not in show business. There's literally a camera at his face, and that's for them. That's their camera because it's their show. I know. And then that's our camera. And they could splice it together. Say splice Very again. Very good, Rich. Say splice splice, again. splice it together. I'm splice your face. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Shecky and Cumberbun. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you call us? <laughs> Jesus, that's going to be a Shecky nickname. Shecky and Cumberbun. It's going to be a nickname in Long Island. Hey, Shecky and Cumberbun. Dead. You, you guys have any... Uh, what? Do you have any of these Crimson Kids shows under your belt yet? Under my belt? Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I don't yeah. know. How, how would I see that? We did the, the test uh, show, like we said, outside of Philly. Yeah, yeah, we, mm. did that. And we did a test show outside of Philly, sold it out. It was packed. It was packed. It was so much fun. Everybody slaughtered. Yeah. yeah. It, it, because, I don't it just, it, everybody compliments each other. Right. The, you know, and it but, just, it, and, and, and we're all, you know, have it, we're all, you know, we're not the same comics. Right. Not even close. When you guys did the mm-hmm. comedy riot last year, and uh, you, I remember yeah. we were, like, concerned because of the time of year, and you guys came, the first words out of your mouth is, don't do, let's not do comedy over the summer. And I'll never forget that. There will never be another comedy riot over the summer. <laughs> yeah. uh, it sold well, yeah. but I remember saying, the people in this room are never going to forget the show. Yeah. Because you both... Destroyed it, destroyed it. Like I'm, I'm not an easy, easy left. Bobby and I have hung out a little bit. That you know, once. And uh, like I've told, I'm not, I'm not an easy. Come out here more. I, easy, I do want you to come out here more. But we were talking. You come to and I'm not a, I know. I, I don't laugh easily. Yeah. I really don't. And that night, I laughed like I hadn't laughed in like. In a really, really well, but your audience. He's talking about the night you came to see me solo at the. Uh, <laughs> no, I know. Okay, well, you're a killer act. I've always said that. Oh, I hate and you. I, I hate your passive aggressive <laughs> niceness. <laughs> no, you are. I a lot of people your, will say to me when I'm on the road and I'm doing radio, they go, "Who are your favorite acts?" Mm-hmm. Colin, Bobby, Norton, the Ghost of Patrice. Uh, mm. You know, like a lot. You know, the guys right. we hung out with are yeah, my favorite types. Of, right. Like all of us, and that's why Bobby's a great comic. Or Norn, or, or and because we all hung out with strong comics, right? We hung out. We we grew up, went to the clubs together in New York with strong a strong crew. So if you had like some crap you were doing, mm-hmm. we would call you out on it. They would call you out on it. Like yeah. Bobby stopped having sex with stools on well, stage. I, if on stage. <laughs> on stage. <laughs> on stage. What I do behind closed doors of my shed is none of your business. I know. All right, so, so back off. So we had... A, <laughs> what have you stopped doing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Touring. <laughs> a, 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 a rooms. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it was fun just coming th- up through the ranks with the people we came up to, tough crowd type of crowd. When you, you know, know somebody's adjusted their set and now all of a sudden they just kicked it into overdrive, yeah. does it push you, like with your boys here, does it push you to 
Do you not want to perform on this, the same night as that guy now no. for a little Chris, while, or no. does it like make you get your you no? Get it makes you get. It may, I mean, look, even that show, I had to close the first show we did. Mm. Um, and Voss, everybody went up and killed. Right? Are you Voss, rotating it? No, you're not rotating. No, okay. Voss was driving me nuts with that. <laughs> no, I'm, every, not, I, okay, I'm sorry. Well, I get very angry. At I, him. <laughs> it's not. Oh, a, I know you guys think him. it's an Abbott or Costello bit. I hate him sometimes, <laughs> and the things that he's put me through. He's so good, Robert. Though on the radio, I've never. You've I'm never glad. Come close I, I'm to glad. I'm glad God has taken his baby toe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's God's work. That's a little something out. I think. Uh, no, but like when we did that show, I was watching everybody murder, and I was like, mm. "I gotta, you gotta really time to go. Let's right because if I go out and close bad, it's I'll, first of all, I'll never hear it. I'll never hear the end of it from him. <laughs> right. But when's the last time you closed bad? I, it's not that you closed bad, ago. but <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But that's what he's saying is no. that we very rarely. Right. We're and, in such and, a spot now where we just very we can handle whatever situation mm, that yeah. we can be. So every in. comic on this show can do an audible if we have to. Right. You know what I mean? Like I work with comics on the road. He's worked with comics that just do. You know, from from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah. But, that's and, and if the night, like the other night, I was on stage. In Vegas, a guy passed out, fell on the floor. Caesar? Right? He had a seizure. seizure. Yeah. So the whole place is, you know, and then there was a whole bunch of Asians in one. I go, not one of you are a doctor. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then he passed Someone's out. not getting on SNL. <laughs> no, no, that's positive. I didn't say it. So then, that's a positive comment. That's a positive. Oh, so yeah, then, you're right. First so of all, you're then, Indians what, are the doctors now. I don't know. Well, if so <laughs> then he gets up. There's no such thing as an Asian doctor. It's all <laughs> Indians now. So he gets up. <laughs> I finally, you know, try to get the crowd back because everybody's. Yeah. Then he passes out again. Oh, gee. And what jokes were you telling? Uh, that's right. <laughs> so they finally get him outside. The audience is shot, and I go, hey, relax. I'm a hypnotist, and I made that happen. And I click my fingers. I go, he's better now. And that kind of got him back. But okay. there's comics that that would have rattled right. so much. I'm right. not saying I'm great. I'm just right, saying right, everybody right. on he's, this show can do an audible. He yeah. is, he, uh, Voss, and I hate to say this. It just, mm. it just it, I literally, I, I smell puke in my nose. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Voss is probably at the top of his game right now. Yeah. He can go up at the beginning, middle, end, anywhere he wants and just murder. Right. And he goes, even in Vegas, I was in Vegas a, a month ago preparing for the Degenerates thing on yeah. Netflix, mm. coming out New Year's. Um, he, we, every, all of us were on the show and doing our sets that we were doing, oh, just yeah. Norton, me, uh, Adrian Appalucci, everybody's just murdering. He's going to close the show. <laughs> yeah. And he goes up and he sits down. And you think it's just going to go downhill, but he slowly, he has that little jab, and he's right. throwing that jab, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, he's just throwing punches, and then the whole crowd is, they're not even Crying. thinking about what they just saw. Right. They're into what he's doing, and right. then it's all over, and then he comes off, he goes, I'm a legend. <laughs> <laughs> and he's puke again. I like these kids in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop, game over. They're good kids. They're good kids. That's Rich Voss, Bobby <laughs> Kelly. They are two of the four of the Creeps with Kids Comedy Tour a week from Friday uh, at Paramount Huntington. More with these guys next. Uh, right now, though, we got to give you the first cash. Keep your JP. It's 8 11. Robert Kelly, Rich, Rich Voss. What's the matter, Rich? Well, well my Killing ear headliners hurt. in the studio with us. When, like, after yes, the uh, Queen movie, everybody jumped on the Queen bandwagon. Right. And you see, like, best rock and roll. You know, band the, ever. The, the Stones right. have to be the best rock and roll band. It's all arguable. Why? But the I longest mean, running. What's that? Best is a, well, you know. I, I love mean, the Stones too, but yeah, I mean, I like Queen too. Don't get me wrong. Right. And and the Stones. So I would go Stones, Queen, Dave Clark Five. Where's the beat? Where's the <laughs> Dave Clark Five? <laughs> <laughs> you know who they are? Of course I don't. But you know why? Because I wasn't born in the twenties. <laughs> Dave coot. Clark five. You're a coot. <laughs> I hope you don't make the end of this tour. <laughs> I hope we have That's to not nice. I hope we have to donate your money to like a cause. How about my wife? <laughs> the dead dead toe cause. I hope that's, I hope your foot is dying and it goes up to your chest. No, you don't. You don't wish that. That's how, I could never say that to a person. What are you talking about? You, you do fat jokes about me having a heart attack I all the time. I never said about a heart attack. No way.
No, no way. Because you don't do anything wishing people dead. Oh, you kidding me? Ever? No, no, because it's Jokingly? too. No, because it just it's bad karma. It's bad karma. You know, I wouldn't mind. It, you know, if he. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, no, I just even people you don't like, you can't say that because what if it happens? Then you're then you're haunted. Speaking, can't then say. you jump up and down and go. I have powers. And then, yeah, yeah, and then you. Whatever. My then, son. You were about to say a fat joke. No, I wasn't. I'm you not about, about to say that. I break the, uh, the sidewalk. No, a that's bridge gross. falls down. No, I said earthquake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew it was in I don't wave. You two parenting no. experts, let me run this one past you. Yeah. My son comes home yesterday and he yeah. goes, it tells me that uh, him and his friends want to go out as the crew from the, the family guy. That's great. Ask me for a wheelchair. It's hilarious. Uh -huh. now, <laughs> I find that. This kid's got a sense of humor. Right, right. Yeah. I find it funny, too. Funniest costume I ever saw was a guy in a wheelchair dressed like Superman. Oh, oh that's funny. <laughs> the funniest costume I've ever seen. God. Right after it happened. Right after? I laughed hysterically. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Woman was pushing him around. Oh, Wonder, no. What is it called? Bonnie Fantastic. was at, in L.A. and they were at the, uh, they had the big Halloween parade, wherever now. Yeah. And these two people, a year after 9-11, thought it would be good to be the Twin Towers. Uh, no. And oh, after no. they got it, they realized, oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, it's <laughs> real bad. <laughs> it was oh. a big mistake. Real bad. Uh, your bo a husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. You, you ever, you know ever, Were they both the same size? Oh, listen, I... You're looking for the accuracy of the towers? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what what really, that's what matters to you? It'd be funny if you had an Arab friend in a plane. <laughs> oh, you, I don't know if it, go together. You're trying to run into them. See the wheelchair <laughs> thing you're saying. Like I, <laughs> you are so twisted. Well, I don't know. I just think right. karma. If you're gonna go for it, go for that it. Was, <laughs> and, and, but it's a character on the show. Yeah, Obviously, I know. It's the, case, yeah. the guy Joe from from the Family Guy, and he was like, "Daddy, you need to get me a wheelchair." I'm like, "Dude, I can't touch this with a ten foot pole." Yeah, First I don't you, need to be on the logo because we live in this like this political correct oh, disgustingness. Yeah. Yeah, but he's being a character in a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, you tell and that. I get it. Yeah, but who's not going to get that? And, you know, the here's, world. Everybody who hates me. You tell him, though. Here's <laughs> what you tell him. You know how hard it is he's going to push you up a lawn, dummy? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get, no, get, you're gonna get no candy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just, just you know. Go with the other four yeah, guys. Yeah, pick, pick another character. Then he goes, what about Cleveland? I go, yeah, nah, no, yeah, you can't no. do that. Going Why? Face, bro. Oh, it's yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you are kidding. This is thing, Rob. Yeah, but you guys are assuming that his wife is white. I'm saying he's a little, he's. Op more open than that. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm not that open. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently, all right. Here we are back at the other one again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, wouldn't that be funny if you... No, when I can't even say it. If your kid went to school in such a bad costume that it would make national news... And yeah, what would be the bad costume? Such a bad costume. Huh? <laughs> so bad. Not even, no, no, you don't mean offensive, you just mean a bad. Well, like offensive. Just dumb. Oh, okay. Or offensive. bad offensive that it may... Anything blackface will get you, yeah. will get attention. Oh, yeah. oh that when even. When we were in high school. I mean, how far back? I mean, with Ted Dancing, it went that far back. When we were in high yeah. school, I graduated in 1990, so it was the October of 89, and a buddy of mine, full blown black, head to toe, with a grass skirt. And a spear, right. and the war makeup, and mm -hmm. the ring in his nose. Yeah. And before, like we saw him walking in, we we're like, "What the hell did he do?" <laughs> right. And you just see principals running, no, because <laughs> they know yeah. if anybody sees him in the school, they're gonna have to deal with. Fight. This dude got into school. The principals basically tackled him, dragged him outside, sent him home. He came in, and just the fight started. Everywhere, news trucks were oh, at the right, school. Right. Already, oh, really? Dude, by, with, by the time he got In 89? back, eighty-nine. By the time he got back, and uh, it was all. And I don't think he was doing it as a. Yeah. I know him. He wasn't doing it as a racial thing. He yeah. just thought it was a funny costume. Yeah, or whatever what, if he it was. Liked, what if he liked traveling? He went to a tribe. And, <laughs> right. You know, I mean, he hung out in Africa yeah, and he was like, I, hey, I, it's I, my. I guess I'm actually just being my friend. But if you could have seen these principles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my my wife, my Bonnie, pal. when she was in fourth grade, in fourth grade, yeah. and this is in Canada, she went as like a Chinese, like she had a, the big hat, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. fake teeth, you know, and oh. her, okay. her mother dressed her like that, and right. it was back then, yeah, it was normal, you know, like a rice, somebody yeah. was in a rice field, yeah, 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 and what the. 
What did you just say? Somebody who works in a rice field. So you're trying to be politically correct by somebody who works in a rice That's field? That's what she dressed up as in fourth grade. In I, fourth grade. So you're going to get in trouble in fourth grade. And then they would, right. back, back then, they would have said, it? oh, it's a cultural thing. But yeah. really, the whole, the teeth, and the, yeah, it's, it's such an yeah. old, horrible stereotype. It's horrible. She wasn't was dressing as times. somebody. Stop, stop giving it a job like it makes <laughs> it better. She was being Chinese woman. Yeah, but that worked in a rice paddock. How do you know? Did she do a, a she character rice research? Rice cakes taped on her. Rice cakes. <laughs> oh, my God. They didn't I have can't rice cakes when she was in fourth grade. They didn't, they don't, <laughs> Chinese people don't make rice cakes. They, they, they come from rice. rice. <laughs> we eat rice cakes because yeah. we're fat Americans. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I want to stick an onion right down your throat. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I would do that to you, but it looked look like we're at a luau. <laughs> I hate him. See, I hate him. That's why he's. That's why he's good. He always gets you. He he never quits. He, he's like a little engine. Goddamn, cruiseforkids.com. Get your tickets. It's gonna sell out. And this jackass is gonna be funny. Eight eighteen. Robert Kelly and Rich Voss uh, here is Dudley the Rhodes. <laughs> your BAB Browns Dodge Ram Truck Center in Medford, Long Island traffic, Southern State westbound, heavy into the Wanta. We had an earlier accident there that's been cleared. The Wanta man who betrays Keith. No, I, I said me, Colin. Keith. Uh, Everybody but me. Oh, you stink. I stink because somebody didn't boss. mention you. I don't stink. <laughs> so, no. yeah, you <laughs> can't. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> so while uh, White Snake was playing, we're talking to these guys, and it mentioned Kevin Hart being like a contemporary. I didn't know he came up with. Yeah, like, right? came, up with us. He came, he came up under us, and then. There was a big like a cannon. There was a roast joke that Ben Bailey did as one of the greatest roast jokes oh, ever. Yeah. He said, uh, Keith Robinson. No, he goes, uh, was it uh, Kevin Hart? Uh, Keith Robinson took Kevin under his wing from Philadelphia. Okay. And uh, little Kev ripped that wing off and flew all the way to L.A. <laughs> became very successful and left left Keith doing circles between <laughs> Jersey and New York. <laughs> 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 yeah, Keith, yeah. I, let me tell you, I, 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 you know, little Kev is, I mean, throw nothing our way. Nothing. Nothing. I know, but I don't expect anything. Let him do what he does. What do you he mean? Does, he's, he's, oh, well, off the I air, you're... You, oh, you my God! God. Listen, you're I'm, a phony! I'm happy for his success. Oh, oh my God. God. Listen. <laughs> you understand? Do you see it, right? You no, see it? Why? I didn't say anything I negative. It. I just... I'll tell listen, you. I'm happy. Listen, if any one of us make it like that, you got to be happy That's for That's not him. what you just said off air. Well, I said if he bought me out for, you know, being a, his friend, uh, right. I would I wouldn't mind a check for a million dollars. Like cash to go away type check? Yeah, just... No, no, I'm, I'm already Jeez. gone away. Yeah, <laughs> screw Kev. I can say it. I got nothing. <laughs> screw little Kev. That's what I call <laughs> little. Not Kevin Hart. Little. <laughs> I, I remember I was at an airport. I was, I was so exhausted. I just, I probably did seven shows at some improv. I probably haven't seen my wife for a week. I'm just exhausted. 19 bachelor up. Whatever I had to do. I'm at the airport early. And I got, I was excited that I got upgraded to first class. I was just, that that made my, right. you know. And then all of a sudden, it's so early. It's me and like two other people at the airport. And in comes this entourage. And it's little Kevin <laughs> fart. <laughs> and five goons. Oh, just, really? Is that much security? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and, and the, the I can't chubby, believe you put G on that word. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so. And that little fat lady from Delta with the red vest. Yeah. You know, he got escorted through security. And he had, I mean, a black Louis Vuitton bag, uh, a backpack. Yeah. His, and he, he sees me and he went, oh, he's like, God damn, look at And I was just a mess. Oh, I was still no. in the same clothes from last night. <laughs> I just look like garbage. I'm just lying, trying to lie Exhausted. down on the, yeah. the chairs with the metal thing. Yeah. 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 He always he, looks he, groomed. He comes in. I mean, he looks like a million bucks. <laughs> like he's never slept ever, and he's fine with it. He's, got, he's like, "Look at you, man, Bobby. You look like crap. What happened? Look at you." <laughs> and he put his Louis Vuitton black, oh my god, suitcase and his backpack on top of that, and uh, he's just smashing me in front of his troops <laughs> and that fat lady with the vest. <laughs> and even she was laughing. Didn't he? And I just kicked his luggage across the room. <laughs> And then I looked at his I looked at his girls, I go, go pick it up. <laughs> no, get out of here. 
had a laugh. Swear to God. <laughs> he had a laugh. Yeah, yeah, no, he, was, he was shot. He was like, yeah, what are you doing, man? I mean, you, can't, you, can't kick my, you can't kick my stuff. <laughs> didn't he, didn't he all, no, you should die for that, but I'll let you go. Because you know Keith Robinson. <laughs> I still have his wing. <laughs> didn't he offer you money? Didn't he give you money? Oh, he walked into Opie and Anthony one day, and he goes, you know, I was just sitting there again, you know, because he knew me when I was standing, you know, I was kind of in shape, and he walks in, and I think it was the first time he saw me in a long time, and I was just my fifth fat or whatever I was on, right. just a, just sitting in a chair, mushed, and he walked in, and he goes, oh my God, Bobby, what happened? And he took out a thousand cash, he goes, you need this. <laughs> I took it and went home. Really? I took it. I left. I took it and went home. Oh my, Dawn, my wife was like, what happened? I'm like, Is she, why are you back? I yeah, yeah, yeah. put this in the safe. We were, <laughs> we, we, were, we were at the cellar one night. So we were talking about working out. And they, he said planks. And I never did a plank in, in my life. Okay. He goes, I'll bet you five to one, a hundred bucks. I'll give you, if you could do it for two minutes, a plank. Uh -huh. So I go, I'll just do it. And I did it. And I go... Oh, I just blew five hundred dollars. Right, right, right. You right. put five hundred right there. Okay, yeah. If you could do two minutes, five hundred to one. I go. I'll just do it, and I did it. Oh. And I'm going. I just blew five hundred dollars right. because I didn't have any confidence. Did you just repeat had, the same story twice? I, I, I not five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We just I weren't went, interested in I your story. I went home. <laughs> then I went home. Unlike Bobby, who had a thousand. Right. Yeah. I went home. 500 less. Did I tell you it was 500? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Three, four times. He, uh, listen. How about when we used to play dice? I remember we, I got everybody into dice because I learned how to do uh, craps or whatever from... Uh, uh, what's her, I forget her name. Oh, the comic. She's from Long Island. Carrie. Carrie Kravitz. Kravitz. Yeah. Hilarious. She's great. Yeah. She's. I love mm. her. She's hilarious. Yeah. She taught me how to play craps. So I got dice <laughs> and I started playing craps. Little Kev came in one night with Keith Robinson and they were playing a hundred dollars. Uh, a pop and little Kev wrote rolled a seven on the bang, got rolled on the fruit because that's yeah. when you win. Yeah. I played seven it. times. He took seven hundred dollars from Keith Robinson. No, oh I, but I'm God. talking in a matter of a minute and a half. <laughs> Boom, bang, two hundred, bang, four hundred, bang, seven hundred. Took the money and just it left. Away. I remember Keith's hands were trembling because <laughs> it just happened so fast. Where was this? At? And the odds are <laughs> right at the cellar at the table. Uh -oh. We we actually had to stop playing because of that because it was getting too people. We were losing hundreds of dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. That's the craps is the best game ever invented. Yeah. It's like if that table's hot, yeah. the head of the clan is high five and Farrakhan. It is right. 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 It's crazy. <laughs> I, I just played craps here. I, three nights ago, I was in Vegas. I would step over my wife's naked body to play craps any day of the week. Right. Any day. Because where else am I going to get a hard eight? Right. Definitely not that one. <laughs> hey -o. Hey -o. Start the car. I'll take Kev. I, I got a hard four and a half. <laughs> Listen, the cream, too. <laughs> the cream from Kid Store <laughs> is next Friday night, the 25th, at the Paramount. It's these oh two guys, God. Robert Kelly and Rich Voss, along with Ron Bennington and Jim Florentine. There are still a few tickets left, literally a few tickets left, because these guys are on the verge of a sellout. Oh, Congratulations man. on that. because that's Thanks, a, guys. And that's a great room to sell out. The biggest tour since the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Show, the your, just as old. Show your love. Go to ParamountNY.com <laughs> now and get your tickets, and uh, let's sell that thing out for these guys. You guys are going to laugh. You go to that show. You, I oh, promise man. you. You're Belly laughs. Time. And you're going to be there, too. You guys yes. are exhausting. Yeah, yeah we're going to we'll bring you on. You're going to open up the show. Sure. Which is it's going to be great. It's going to yeah. be great. We'll be happy to do it. We'll have so merch after the show. Yeah, we got by. a one-of-a-kind t-shirt <laughs> uh, and poster at the end of the show. Uh, but it, it, it's it's a great... I mean, the t-shirt's rocking. Yeah. I, I love it. Creeps it's awesome. Creeps with Kids yeah. comedy show. Creeps with Kids, yeah. It's a great idea. You told us about that idea a long time ago, and here it is. Here it is, and man. You're killing it. Here it is, and I should have I should have I should have slowed down on the picking process. Oh boy, <laughs> should he have? Maybe going with three instead of you know. I should have. That, that's, that's what he wants. <laughs> or save more money. Do what? <laughs> you you want me out of the tour? He's like, just you stay home. I'll give you half. No, I, I couldn't be any happier with the people on this tour. Uh, everybody compliments each other. And they're good kids. 
I like these kids. <laughs> you, can, you can actually say that. I accept that. Because you're 62. You're right. You're 62. Almost your waist size. You're actually old. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Uh, we got to go. I hear the music getting yeah, louder. That's it. From, you get played off. Yeah. <laughs> From the Adams family over there. <laughs> when you fell off that wall. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a Make a Wish radio show with these two. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remember, all proceeds from Freeze with Kids go to me. So thank you for that. Oh, we go, it goes Hammer to you and, and your eyebrow tattoos we're getting Correct. you. Oh, God. Edward eyebrow Brenner. replacement. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Robert Kelly, Rich Voss. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll see you soon. I'll thank see you, you later, guys. You're exhausting. <laughs> we're, <exhausting>. <laughs> <laughs> we're taxing. <laughs> Here's Ted. Hey. Your VAB Browns Dodge Ram Truck Center in Medford, Long Island traffic 347 heavy into Route 111. Got a crash there. Westbound Sunrise Highway, still lots of traffic into the Oakdale Merge and still heavy. Eastbound headed into the Hamptons. Southern State, lots of traffic both ways into the Wanta. We had an earlier crash on the westbound side and in Nassau County, also on the LIE eastbound by Willis Avenue at exit 37. We're dealing with a crash there as well. That's a look at your BAB Browns, Dodge Ram Truck Center in Medford, Long Island traffic. Introducing Black Titanium, the newest scratch-off game from the New York Lottery. Black Titanium is big, seriously big. In fact, it's $10 million big. Head to your favorite New York Lottery retailer today to pick up the new Black Titanium scratch-off game for your chance to be...